This is the 24-7 hideout gun. Hello everyone and welcome to the Magnum Channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the North American Arms Pug. Alright, and this is a recent acquisition. And this is kind of like the ultimate concealed carry weapon. And we're going to do a little bit of shooting with it and show you some of the features. And you can kind of see those sights. This one has the white dot. This one's ported. It's chambered in 22 Magnum and has the white dot front sight and kind of a V-notch rear. It's got the excess sights on there. Let me cock it. You can see the sights there. Okay, and um, this little revolver is a single action only. All the you guys probably all already know all the details. There's a lot of other videos out there on this gun, um, but this one's a single action only. Okay, so it has to be cocked to fire it and it has to be cocked each time and it holds five okay then I want to show you this too to put it in the half cock position not the half cock but there's no half cock there's a safety cock okay so one back that's your safety cock and there's a full cock okay and once it's locked up you can't do anything with it but when it's like this what you can do is you can bring the hammer back just far enough to move the cylinder and then pull the trigger. Just let the hammer down and you hear it click. It clicks right in. And there it's just between those rounds. Now you hear people say that these little guns are like a, um, kind of like a bad breath gun and that, you know, you got to be five feet away to hit anything. And we were just doing a little bit of shooting there at five and seven yards. I did some of it off camera. But, um... These are, I would say, my effective range for this is going to be 10 yards or less. And uh, like I said, we're at 7 yards right here by the camera. And if I just step back here and take a shot at that steel plate. Let's move on up to 5 yards. So just taking a shot at that steel plate, I wasn't even using the sights. Uh, this has a nice set of sights on it. This one seems to push them a little bit to the left, and I think that's me. So uh, when I shoot left-handed, they don't seem to go as far to the left as when I shoot it right-handed. So uh, this little spur trigger on here is with this grip is definitely kind of a... It's, it's, it's hard to get a hold of, but you can see this gun is just absolutely tiny. And I've got a pretty good, I've got pretty good sized hands, but I mean, it's still just a tiny little gun. Maybe I'll throw in some footage of it next to my uh, SP-101. Uh, the Ruger SP-101 is about the same size as the Smith & Wesson J-Frame. In fact, I, I carry it in a J-Frame holster. And, um, you know, this gun is just, it just, it's huge in comparison to this, to this little gun. So, uh, this is a nice little gun, but you got 22 Magnum, or one inch barrel. The one that thing that's kind of nice is you got this flat barrel on this one. I don't want to stick my hand in front of the muzzle because it's still hot, but, um, you got this nice flat barrel on this one, so it sits flat in your pocket. Um, you can, there's all kinds of holsters available for this. If you want a neck holster or something, I would just carry this in my pocket. But the nice thing is, is that here we are at seven yards, and using sights or not using the sights, you can you can make a hit with it pretty easily. So, you know, if you were going to be at five yards or even less, I mean, you can easily make headshots with this thing, and that's that's where it's really going to shine is for headshots. Now you could certainly shoot somebody in the chest with this if you wanted to. You know, five, 22 Magnum is nothing to sneeze at. I chronographed this out of this gun with CCI uh, mini mags. I'm getting about 850 feet per second. So you might be able to find some ammunition out there and just ring out that last couple 100 or 200 feet per second. It's not going to make a whole lot of ballistic difference. All of it is under the expansion threshold. Uh, about the only time you're going to get expansion out of a 22 Magnum hollow point with this short of a barrel like this is maybe if you shoot somebody in the head. And I say that from experience. Um, if you've ever done any trapping, those of you trappers out there know that using a hollow point on an animal's head is, it just makes a bloody mess, makes a big hole. So, um, you know, you, you, have, you can't, you have to account for the skull. The skull is a hard thing. 
And so if you use a 22 Magnum hollow point in this and you hit somebody's skull, you know, you might do a little more damage than, uh, than just a regular round nose or a full metal jacket. But either way, it's not going to make a whole lot of difference. Um, you can shoot for the chest if you must, make a headshot if you, if you, if you absolutely can with one of these. And um, so, I mean, under, at five yards or less, I mean, the one thing this gun would not be good for is a mass shooter. In the event of a mass shooter, if you're trying to defend, uh, maybe you're at church or something, there was a shooting in El Paso here recently where one of the elders was actually armed and shot a mass shooter. I think he was at about 15 yards and he made a headshot. And you're not probably going to do that with this unless you had a really, you know, a lot, a lot of practice. But um, I have 100, about 150 rounds to this gun so far. And at 10 yards, it starts getting kind of hard to hit. Like I said, we're at seven here. And without thinking about it too hard, you can put shots down range there, like on that alpha zone. Okay, but I just missed it right there. Okay, so there's a nice hit on the alpha zone. We're at seven yards without trying too hard, but it's really easy to get hard on that trigger with this little bit of grip. It's easy, easy for it to twist in your hand. Now this whole grip does help. It makes it a lot more comfortable, and it doesn't impede with the, the shirt carry too much. I'll throw on a picture. I got it in that little tiny pocket on your jeans that you can't do anything else with. Um, but this is a great little pocket gun. Um, it. I also throw in some footage. I think it, I weighed it at uh, seven and a half ounces, fully loaded. So this is just the perfect little gun for when you can't take anything else. Um, and that's really where it shines the most. I don't want to drag this video on forever. There's a lot of other videos out there that show this gun. Uh, Nothing fancy, and some others have some really great videos on it. But this is the Pug from North American Arms, as of 2019, 2020. Uh, I paid just a little over 300. It was like 350 bucks, I think, for this. Um, price subject to change of course but uh, they have versions that come with night sights and I wouldn't I wouldn't bother because like I said the sights on this to me are you can use them but um, you know at the distances at seven yards or less you don't even really need the sights uh, these little guns would also make a great uh, backup gun and uh, I would carry it as uh, maybe carry it carry it in your pocket carry it in one of your pockets that's really handy uh, you know that's the thing when a defensive encounter goes down You've all seen footage of security footage and things like that these days. And when they, when they go down, usually it happens pretty quick, right? And so, um, you know, and in the, in the, about the only time you're going to reload is in the event of a mass shooting or something. And so if somebody's trying to carjack you or something like that, it's going to be over real quick. And so you're not, you wouldn't have time to reload a regular gun. And this, of course, you're not going to reload because you have to take the cylinder out to, to load it and everything like that. But... Um, at those kind of quick distances like this, this would be a great gun. And if you want a heavier gun on your ankle, uh, that's the nice thing about ankle holsters. If you've ever carried a gun in an ankle holster, that you can you can carry a nice big gun in an ankle holster, and uh, it really takes a lot of that weight. And they're they're pretty comfortable compared to something inside your waist. I'm not a big fan of the inside of the waist, but uh, these little pocket guns are great for that. This is the 24/7 hideout gun. Okay, this is a gun that you can carry literally in your pajama pockets. I know because I've done it. So you can stick this in your pajamas or your shorts around the house and it's not going to weigh down your pants. This weighs less than a cell phone. So this is a great little 24-7 get off me gun. And if you put one of these in somebody's head, they're going to be just as dead as if you shot them with a 45. Okay. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for today. This is the North American Arms Pug. And I recommend that you go buy one. These are the perfect little 24-7 hideout guns. If you can't have anything else on you, you can always have one of these on you, assuming that it's legal. You're in a place where it's legal to carry.